How can the plot enhance your story? Here I summarize three practical recipes from writing excuses for how to structure the events that make an enthralling plot. Recipe 1. Orson Scott Card's Mice Quotient The Mice Quotient sets your story up for a good ending, right from the start. MICE is an acronym for milieu, idea, character, and event. Choose the one that defines your story, and build it into the beginning and ending of the plot. A milieu story starts with a big change of setting and environment, and ends when the setting changes back. An idea story begins with a big question, and ends when it's answered. In a character story, it starts with the main character, dissatisfied with something about their life, and ends when it's resolved. And an event plot starts with a big driving problem, and ends when the solution is found. In a complex story, like a novel, you'll have multiple layers of these plots nested within each other, but the general rule is to treat them like the opening and closing tags on programming. The first ones opened are the last ones closed, and the last ones opened are the first closed. Recipe 2, the 7 point story structure. When you want to make sure that your story has a satisfying feeling of progress, have your plot follow along these 7 key moments. 1. The hook. Establish what's going on, who the characters are, and their starting states. 2. The first plot turn. Bring in a change that calls the characters to adventure. 3. The first pinch. Pressure the characters and force them into action, teaching them something that they'll need for the end of the plot. 4. The midpoint. Move the characters from reaction to action. Have them resolve to solve the problem. 5. The second pinch. Really put the pressure on the characters, make it dire, and up the difficulty. 6. The second plot turn. Have them figure out the puzzle or weak point. 7. The resolution. Have them actually win. Recipe 3. The Hollywood Formula. The formula is a plotting technique designed to maximize the emotional response generated from every scene. To get this, your story needs to have at least some element of character-driven plot, because in the end, It's really the characters that we relate to and empathize with. The Hollywood formula revolves around three main characters, the protagonist, antagonist, and the relationship character. The protagonist is the star who has a very concrete and specific goal. The antagonist is the person whose goals are diametrically opposed to those of the protagonist. The relationship character is the supporting character for the protagonist, usually acting as the unheeded but wise companion of the protagonist who communicates the theme of the story. In the first quarter of the story, Act 1, introduce these characters by showing who they are and what they want. Then, force the protagonist to make a fateful decision, one that drives him to commit to the story in pursuit of his goals, versus giving up on them and letting inertia take its course. Act 2 is made up of the next two quarters, with everything up to the halfway point about asking questions, and everything after the halfway point about finding answers. The Act 2, Act 3 transition happens when the protagonist is at his all-time low, as far from his goals as possible. And that means that Act 3 is his fight back from this point, climaxing all the way up to victory over the antagonist, achievement of his goals, and a reconciliation with the relationship character. The further he has to fight, and the closer these three things come together, the bigger the emotional punch. These three recipes each offer different, complementary ways of structuring your story to give your readers a sense of balance, progression, and emotional impact. They range from very open to highly defined. Mix them and match them as you wish, or just keep in mind some of their underlying principles while you develop your plot. Either way, these simple recipes should help you to make your plot work for you.